Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? Sir's back once again for another character impression. This time we have Isaac, which is the the new character that was introduced. Several, uh, I don't know, maybe not several, like uh, the last few, maybe the last one. I forgot which one, Spaghetti Syndrome or some shit? I don't know. But yeah, he, he, he was around in all the society, like in the previous society uh, event. And now with the finale has finally been released. Now we have Isaac that was also technically teased in the, the last stream. The last anniversary stream, so yeah, he's obviously his water. Uh, he has 1960 HP, he has 7000 attack. I do not have this character, by the way, so I'm not going to test him because can't test. It's, good. it's just going to theory craft. <clears throat> so he's a defensive character, he's human, yes, his specialty is melee and gun. His ogi is handy dandy excavation, massive water damage to a foe, shield effect to Isaac, and cooldown for thermal blade. Why the hell am I saying it like that? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so his shield is 6,000? 6 fucking thousand, what? <laughs> okay, 6,000 is relatively high. Alright, what's Thermal Blade? Thermal Blade. 1100% water damage to all foes. Hit to attack and defense. Alright, that is a lot of damage. Big damage, nice. Plasma Ripper. What, you're fucking actually... They're actually trying to reference Isaac from Dead Space or something. <laughs> water damage to all foes, 20% boost to caster's charge bar. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one. Man, this is 11 turn cooldown. 11 turns cooldown, 5 turns cooldown. No wonder you can reset it by fucking Ogi, huh? Fucking hell, that's a huge ass nuke though. Rocket Truster. Instant CA standby cast to caster, charge boost effect. Oh? Boost to charge bar, boost charge bar to 100% at the end of turn while in fact. Oh wow. Oh, that's pretty nice. So you can Ogi twice? <laughs> cool. Moto Drive. Hey, that's the weapon of. Well, that's Tifa's weapon name too. <laughs> Low multi attack rate, amplify normal attack damage, active activate plasma ripper after normal attacks. Oh wow. So wait. Wait, so it's basically Meteon. <laughs> A extra vehicular gear. Shield effect at battle start. When Isaac has shield effect, debuff immunity, caps Incoming fire damage at 5,000 per hit. Wow. Eh, I mean, it's kind of okay, but the shield is only 6,000. So you can technically only last for one hit <laughs> at max. Hey, Zion. Alright, where's his weapon? Oh. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's a pretty good OTK weapon. <laughs> For a character that you can soft ticks. Because it's like very similar to like how Light uses like Zoe gun or some shit like that. That's actually pretty good. Because he actually provides skill cap as well. Skill cap helps a lot. I mean like, yeah, Elsa uh, blah, blah, blah. Excelsior. This this type of uh, thing cannot really be uh, buffed by your 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 summons. That's fine. But you get this and skill cap though. This is pretty nice though. And yeah, it's full limit break as well because he has 120 here. So it's... Damn, that's actually a pretty damn good weapon. Nice. Pretty nice weapon and it's a gun. I don't think really, I don't think the weapon really matters but like, yeah, it's a pretty good weapon. Two skill caps, four HP nodes, three defense nodes, one crit. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> That's a lot of HP, man. A lot of HP, a lot of skill cap. I mean... We have to thank his first skill for that. That's a lot of skill cap, man. Fuck. So you imagine if you actually get skill cap on his ring as well? Damn! Very nice stuff, dude. So I think what I'm gonna do, right? I'll grab the skill cap and the crit for obvious reasons, but I think what I'm gonna do... So that, cause that's like already 9 points in. You have 9 points already, so you have basically another 9 more, right? So I think what I'm probably gonna do is that, uh, because you know he has this, right? He has this shield thingy. 
So I think what I'm probably going to do, I'll put one point each on his defense and put everything else into HP. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. If I do actually get him, right? If I'm actually going to level his EMP, that's probably what I'm going to do. Just one point each, all HP. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're uh, leveling it a different node because it's technic technically the same because it all adds, each level just adds to 150. So yeah, you can just max out, just use the rest, the remaining 6 points into his HP. Just so he gets a fuckload of HP. And thanks to that, I don't think you, these days is actually really that important because you know you can fucking... Uh, you know, you can just do this thing. <laughs> yeah, just do this thing. Doesn't really matter too much. You get a lot of uh, stats already anyway from this. Plus with the ring, and if you give him the the earring as well, so he technically gets way more. So that's, that's pretty good. Alright, so for the most part, as long as you're giving him meter, right? As long he has fuck ton of meter, right? Basically anyone else providing meter to him, He's gonna be pretty nice. Especially in the likes of uh, full auto even. I would even say full auto is actually pretty good. <laughs> this looks like a really nice full auto character. Like I would even say that he's gonna be pretty nice for Guild War full auto if you think about it. He does way... He can do a lot of damage though. Because this one looks like a really really insanely high cap and you can reduce the cooldown. As long as you can consistently just give him meter or whatever shit right. He's going to be able to reset this non-stop, right? And then he also casts this every fucking turn, by the looks of it, because of this thing. Whenever he autos, basically, right? He automatically casts this. So he does ex actually get extra meter for himself, yeah. But like, I think if you, you really want to make proper use of him, it's much better if you have at least another character, you know, like use Doggo or some shit, right? Or Kango, whatever, to give extra meter to this boy here. I think you're good. He'll press this first, nuke, nuke, Ogi, and then nuke again, <laughs> and then Ogi again, nuke again, Ogi again. <laughs> he actually works relatively well in full auto. And I don't think he really takes that much damage too, because of the... He has his uh, shield, and then if you're actually gonna get his uh, defense uh, nodes as well for his EMP and shit. So he does do a lot. So from what I can see, even though he doesn't really multi-attack that much because of his uh, low-up multi-attack passive here, he gets Amplify. I mean, I, obviously I don't know how much is it because Wiki doesn't have it yet. And then he gets extra Nuke here, which is what they mentioned here is like what, 500% here? 500% water damage to all foes, which is pretty nice. So basically he can... Still do relatively well, uh, good enough damage even though he's single attacking. Very similar to the likes of Meteon actually, the Christmas version of Meteon. So yeah, it's pretty good man. Because the other thing is because he's uh, he's able to get this shield thing to himself, he doesn't... He doesn't die that fast, he shouldn't die that fast, no. Because like, if you can really just keep resetting his Ogi, right, just constant Ogi on him, right? He's just gonna reset his shield over and over and over and technically 6,000 is actually relatively high. So if you think about it, as long as he doesn't fight any boss that has really really high like multi-hit nukes, so he doesn't really die that quick. And not to mention, not it's not like he has like some sort of like substitute or whatever shit right, so it doesn't really like, or even like the likes of hostility or whatnot right, so it's not exactly he's pulling all of the damage to himself. So technically he's able to spread out the damage relatively fine too. So that way he doesn't die that fast. And plus like you saw earlier he has like a fuckload of fucking uh, HP right. I hope that EMP is correct. Right? <laughs> you know because sometimes Wiki that stands to show the wrong one. But I hope that's correct. But like yeah. So he's definitely a character that I would feel because he's a defensive character number one. He, he's tanky, number one. He nukes really hard. And even though he doesn't multi-attack that much, he still hits relatively hard because of his uh, amplified attack and his uh, free nuke every turn on autos. And I would say, like, you may actually think, right, his Ogi is not too strong, like, damage-wise. You may actually think of it that way. But I would feel like his, his, uh, his Ogi, right, is more like this is included, you know? If you think about it, 
it's more like this is just technically affected on the following turn, right? Because you're just ending the cooldown on that shit. So it's like, just think of this as like his actual Ogi, right? Because this, this just, this is gonna do a lot of damage, man. Even without me testing, this should technically hit like, I don't know, easily 2 to 3 million or some shit. Maybe even more for all I know, right? This shit should hit really fucking hard. <laughs> I mean, because this thing is 11 turns cooldown, man. Right? Yeah. The debuff is, yeah, the debuff, the local debuff, like, it's kind of like whatever. I feel like that, you can kind of ignore that for the most part, but... The nuke is something to not make fun of. 1100,000% is really, really fucking high. Because usually, like, stand... Just normally standard nukes, right, you tend to see is, like, between maybe, like, 200% to, like, maybe 600% or some shit. Or even like the relatively on the highest side nuke percentage tends to be like 800% or some shit like that, right? You don't see 1000 plus percent nukes that often. When you do see that, you probably see them nuking for several millions. <laughs> so that's why it's pretty fucking nuts, right? Heck, I would even consider this guy to be relatively good in proving grounds too, moving on. Because Kirin works too. Because <laughs> this thing, you can, you can Kirin this thing. You can cure in this thing, you can... Yeah. <laughs> He's actually still pretty good, man. And yeah, yeah, the tower thing works too. Yeah, exactly. So that's why it's... I, I, I wouldn't even say that he's a really... Um, that bad of a character. I would still think that he's situational for the most part. But I still think he's a very, very solid character. Mostly by himself, I guess. But like, he shines way more if you have like... Just at least one minimum character, okay? One extra character to provide meter to him. Like, at least some sort of, like, really good meter generator. Probably the, the only best one I can think of right now is fucking Kango. Like, yeah, if you have, like, you're using MC Kango, this guy is gonna be fucking... <laughs> just Thermal Blade. <laughs> or just some smash Thermal Blade all day, right? <laughs> Like, just imagine using Doggo and Kango MC, right? Oh man, yeah. Just, just, just watch his damage fly, right? Pretty cool, man. Plus he has this as well. Really nice, man. He's a pretty cool character, yeah. I actually like it. Really nice. Cool. He has, uh, like... Out of, like, uh... May maybe moving on, I should put, like, uh... Another type of, uh... A rating where how much how how much I actually do like the character. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that in future. Because I really do like his 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 setup. Like it's not like it's not like those um because you know when it comes to like a really good character these days you always think like oh as long as it provides good shit to like Luca bro 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 setup as long as you have that that's all it that matters right. It immediately becomes like a top tier fucking character, right? But fuck, man, that shit is fucking boring as well. Every time I see shit like that, it's just like, oh god, this character again? You know, that kind of shit, it feels very boring, right? I don't like seeing that kind of shit. That's why when I see like a little bit different stuff like this, right? He's a very solid character. He needs a little bit of a punch from other like party members or some shit. But when he gets that shit, mm, you just fuck, man, you know? It's, it's very nice to see this kind of like a... The different types of setup Because like I think the last time We actually see this kind of shit Is like what? I'm sorry I actually can't think of it <laughs> Yugen, Yugen, Yugen Limited Yugen Yugen Grand It's literally the only other character I can think of right now Because we are like 12 hours into the stream right now My brain is not working that well <laughs> So Yeah We don't see this kind of shit often man It's like he can Get constant 100% meter at like several turns at once kind of shit. It's pretty nice, man. That's 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 what I can say about this character for now. Unfortunately, I can't test him because I don't have him. Uh, I'll leave that to Mr. Soupy unless he doesn't have him. Yeah, then well, shit. Fuck that, I guess. <laughs> but like, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, impression memes. Uh, if you do get him, congratulations because we have a lot of free rolls coming up anyway. I would like to think so, but yeah. Like, leave a like, subscribe, and all that good shit. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video or on stream. <laughs> okay, alright, booba time.